Here, this will be an exploration. And you may take it any way you want. Let's try it. Right. Did you pick up that from the mic? Yeah. Good. Jump in. Um, I don't really know this is well. Okay, this, this is really practical. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, I start a company. Mm -hmm. I am a sense of shepherd. <laughs> Uh -huh. I am uh, shepherding retirement monies, people who are retired. I currently manage about five million bucks. Goal is to get it up to like a hundred million. marketing uh, methods. Uh, I've got professional speakers putting on seminars for me. Uh, um, I have one problem. I, I currently work a full-time job. Difficulties we have you, would you say you have encountered so far in the last two months? Been on it two years now, is that right? Right. Um, my energy doesn't seem to have enough energy. <laughs> I'm running out of energy. How do you see that? Come on. Uh, I'm, I'm losing my enthusiasm. Uh, I'm getting some results over in my uh, uh, mountain sitting uh, mode. Uh, I'm seeing some things. Uh, how do I put it? When did you experience this? Um, the last time. Last time. Um, I have a client, new client. Okay, go ahead. Um, his money was invested.
three weeks ago. I, uh, I left him a phone message that everything had been taken care of, but I really should have been calling him back a couple times to really hold his hand. I haven't done it. Um, so there's some sort of block going on here. Mm -hmm. No, say it again. You really should have what? I should have called him and uh, taken take a little bit more active. Taking his hand. Taking his hand. Uh, like we, you know, I went through all the pre work to educate him, to convince him this is a thing he should do, and uh, I've sort of like you know broken with him a little bit. I don't know if that's good or bad. I my 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 son tells me I should be talking to him a lot more, making sure he's okay with everything because it is something new for him. So you're educating? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. And what do you find? What do I find? Yes, how do you find him? Educating him? Doing it for three weeks, son? Uh, I spent about four months educating him. Four months? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe he trusts me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. Ah. Now, um, I like that term you used. Um, what is it like when you're in a relationship and you have to take someone's hand through it or whatever it is? What's that like? Um, it's difficult. I have to restrain myself. Uh, go ahead. What's that like? Come on. I have to restrain myself. Well, I almost start babbling along. So I could really get this guy into investment theory and all these bells and whistles and you know, really take him down the road. But again, you know, I, there's a difference between talking theory and selling something. And so what I've done is I've restrained myself. I ask him a lot of questions, let him do as much of the talking as possible. Uh, and force myself to really listen to what he's saying. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, there it is. And try and guide him to a couple of uh, really key conclusions. Uh, guiding. guiding. Yeah, in what way? Um, I understand what I'm trying to get him to understand. I, I, I like to see, want to see the light go on. Um, kind of waiting for the light to go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that like, waiting for the light to go on? There you are, talking with him. I don't think. I don't think the light is going on. I mean, I don't think. Well, oh, don't yeah, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. May not go on. But he trusts me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's very curious. Um, how would you describe that when you recognize that someone trusts you? What, what, talk about that. What's that like? When that enters into the relationship, what's that like? Well, not very many people in my life have trusted me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And therefore, what's this experience like? I can't spell it, mind boggling. Uh, it's, <laughs> huh. um, well, it's new for me. 
Uh, it's, what? it's new. It's new. <laughs> new. God, I'm not, still not getting what it's like, but I'm getting closer. Um. <laughs> should be trusting me. Ah. Oh, I know what it is. Also, I'm feeling guilty. Yeah. I'm feeling guilty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I know what that word means, by the way, so you may have to help me. Well, here, I'll give you a real elaborate version of guilt. Go ahead. Two guys win the Nobel Prize in, in, in how to asset allocate your money, how to put together mutual funds in a certain proportion because if you put them in a certain proportion uh, you'll have a certain level of risk which we can figure out from the past and you'll get a certain rate of re return within a certain little range. Give me a break. Who can predict the future? Well, <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> give me a break. Who can predict the future? I mean, I'm... So I, I have a fundamental... <laughs> although I'm selling this stuff and uh, I do I do believe it but I, you know, it's... I, I, it's yeah, I, I believe what these guys have told me. I've, I've looked through it. It's very elaborate. It, it appeals to the types of people I work with because they're very algorithmic. They like to uh, they like to see relationships and causality. And, um, and I fear that maybe. And I fear that maybe. <laughs> This guy has trusted me, and things might go wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it might be good. It might be good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It might, it might be good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, my guilt is based on, have I, have I oversold this guy? Well, I haven't oversold this guy, because he just believes everything I tell him. <laughs> I haven't oversold him. He believes everything I tell him. <clears throat> I haven't oversold him, but he believes everything I tell him. Okay. Is, is there... <laughs> I believe the guys who told me, he believes everything I tell him. Huh? So the question is, is I don't, am I truthful with this guy? I, I'm, well, you are truthful because... I am telling him what you were told. I'm telling him what I was told. Yeah. And it's it's the best that, that's around. Yeah. Nobody's figured it out better than these guys. Um, not to say that they have the truth, but they might but, be getting close to the truth. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe I shouldn't really be feeling guilty. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, in, in, in risk, there is no guarantee. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, something happens to that word in this discussion. Uh, there's something that happens to that word risk in this discussion. Right? Like it's minimized, and it can, a lot of language goes into minimizing this problem, the it's risk. But <clears throat> you, you went back to the idea, but give me a break, who can predict the future? So, uh, um, I've got a question for you, I just wondered about this. Um, <clears throat> your goal in this relationship with him is to guide him, uh, shepherd, uh, but also educate, isn't it not? Educating him? You're educating him? Actually, I'm educating him, I'm giving him educating books to read. Yeah, uh, books to read. And, and being more general, yeah. um, I've also with the people I work, yeah. I've sort of shepherded them through danger. Mm -hmm. For example, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, what's going on in the financial industry in the, in the world actually the last three or four months. There was some quite, quite, quite scary times. Mm -hmm. and people's uh, funds were down about 20%. Mm -hmm. But again, you know, I had convinced them they have to be long-term investors, mm -hmm. not short-term types of mm -hmm. uh, in and out. And they, they all held course and things have come around. Mm -hmm. um, things just as likely could have just going to hell hand asking. Yeah. Uh, Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. So, uh, I'd ask you again. That's interesting that you're putting. Uh, let's say there's a, a role you're playing that you're called. Let's call it the educator role. Right. You give the guy books. <clears throat> you bring him into the knowledge game. Right. You spend a lot of effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, how would you describe him as a good learner, or would you say he tends to believe whatever you say? Um, actually, he's rushed. What? What? He's very busy. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I expected that. Um, I think he understands what I tell him. You think he understands what? But is he a good student? No. No. Give me a grade. Uh, he. Flunks. He flunks. I gave him two of the best books. Oh. The bottom line, you know, oh. thousands of books you can read. Oh. These are the two best books. All you have to do is sit down for a couple hours and read the damn things. And this guy can understand it. Hmm. So instead he's got my distilled version of it. Maybe that's good enough. It is good enough for him. Yeah. And he fundamentally believes it. What's that? He fundamentally believes it. Oh, yeah. Believes it. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, if you were to look at this relationship you have then, how much time would you say you're playing not the shepherd but the educator in this uh, relationship? So far it was about 90% the yeah, educator. Yeah. And uh, F is the grade you're getting for that. Well, um, he gets an F because he didn't read, read the books, but if you take away, <laughs> if you take away, <laughs> Okay, he's got the books. Maybe he'll read them sometime. But we did have a tremendous amount of dialogue, four months worth, mm -hmm. hours maybe, like mm -hmm. maybe sixty hours worth. So, oh. you know, we talked about his farm. Uh, you know, I, that would help him understand the market. No. No, that's a no. sales trick. No, no, no. You know, you know, you, you, it's a sales trick. You know, people do business with people who are like them. Yeah. So when he talked his farm, since I have a little bit of a farm background, I'm, man, we talked farm for hours. Yeah. So he yeah. likes me. Would you say that's educating him in this market game? No. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's getting him to feel comfortable with me. Yeah, yeah. Does yeah. yeah. that have anything to do with it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should read the books. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You see, the thing that we're going to be looking at is. You see yourself in one sense as an educator, and at the same time you're building up a relationship that could be the shepherding, trust, following, right? <clears throat> um, if you realize that uh, the student you have is much more, really much like sh a sh uh, a lamb, a sheep. Right? How much education do you want to give the lambs? I was just thinking differently. I was saying, gee, Jim, why the hell aren't you talking to this guy more? There's a sheep walking around out there. Who knows what's going through his mind? That's right. You know, there's a difference between talking about something, but then when you take your life savings and you commit it, huh. you know, it's a different game. But, but, but if you're a dumb sheep, <laughs> yeah. is it going to really matter? Yeah. Maybe not. He made a decision. Mm -hmm. He didn't base it on what I thought he should base it on. But so should I suffer? <laughs> so not if he's a sheep. <laughs> you see, you're in this relationship, see, and what we're looking at is how the the energy, psychic energy, as it were, <clears throat> um, and or we could say that the rather than your psychic energy, the kind of involvement that you're involved in here, you now want to look at it and say to yourself, uh, how effective each of the different roles you're playing in this. Something just came up here. Um, actually, I just realized that I have my full-time job, which has been very hectic the last three months. Plus, I'm in a, a hectic relationship. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually, there's a couple of <coughs> other relationships that are, that are intersecting in there, which helped to put me to, you know, I, sh I should have, would have, could have, should have been more talking to that guy, but they're, they're, I'm being sapped in some other direction. So why am yeah. I not doing it? Uh, 
this, this, is, this is the cop out here. You know, energy is going elsewhere. Say. I don't have time to do it. I should do it. But. Now you're saying, hey, by the way, I'm involved <coughs> in other relationships where something similar is going on. Is that correct? Something similar. Um, well, actually, I'm a shepherd at work, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about in a relationship? No, she's got a woman around. <laughs> oh, she's the shepherd, you're the lamb. <laughs> she's kicking my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Can we use that image, though? <laughs> Yeah, it's reverse image. It's reverse, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. the company? Um, <clears throat> That's your shepherding at the company. Well, I'm, yeah, we're, we have a goal we're going to, and I have some people with me who mm -hmm. I'm sort of the leader, and they're, they're, mm -hmm. they're, 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 they're all doing their piece of the, of the task. So. Yeah. Oh, interesting. With them, I'm, I'm on the phone with them every single day. There's about nine of those guys, and I talk to them every day. Mm -hmm. But I'm not teaching them anything. They, they know You're doing this job. Um, with minimal t teaching. With minimal teaching. <clears throat> Hit them up, move them out. You know, mm -hmm. On time, on budget. You know. yeah. 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 So that's rather interesting then that um, when you're in this, you have to restrain yourself in a number of ways. Right, that's the last question. Have to hold yourself back from talking, right? Have to force yourself to listen, right? Right, and uh, you're guiding, and at the same time, you're trying to, through this, you're trying to establish a relationship. Okay, now, uh, if you were to do that in the relationship, I presume, with a, a woman, right? What would happen in that relationship? No. Whatever you're doing here on this new venture, the way you are relating with your new clients, right, I have to restrain myself. I have to back from talking. I have to force myself to listen to what is being said. Right? I have to go along. Right? I have to build the confidence of the other person. It, what's going on in your relationship? Well, she claims I don't listen to her. Right. But I listen all the time. And yeah. Problem is, she. Um, <laughs> I guess this is. You know, I, I have to listen to a whole lot mm. to get a nugget. <laughs> you have to listen. You have to listen to a whole lot, right? A whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, and then she needs. You know, she. I, I got to listen to all this stuff. Mm. And, um, yeah. yeah. By the way, in this kind of relationship, though, would you? Uh, prefer, uh, if you have to listen a lot, uh, in order to gain the relationship, or to have the relationship, or to endure the relationship, or? Well, I, there's a lot of questions going on. Yeah, there. yeah, okay. I, you know, I, Same question for the company now. Same question. We're going to go up and down between the three. Um, me listen? Uh, no, right. That's right. Me, you listen. I'm on the uh, phone with these nine guys every day. I no, I, I, I tell them what has to be done. I do listen then, because there there are sometimes. That's true, but you know, but but basically, I'm a driver. You know, you're a driver here. Right, right, right. 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 It's my plan and it's my direction. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Um, so in this sense. Uh, you're the driver in that sense, forcefully, if we could use the term, forcefully a shepherd. Yeah, these, these guys are not sheep. And they're not sheep. No. No, they're and they're not dumb. They're not dumb at all. And they want to understand what they're doing. Oh, yeah. they and do. you have to, therefore, this is higher level of educating, isn't it? A certain mm -hmm. level of conversation and well, content. Sure, yeah. I guess I'm not really a driver. I guess I am sort of a shepherd. I, I mean, I'm not just telling people what to do. I mean, yeah. we've got, we all work on this together. But, yeah. but okay. you know, the thing is, I've got to be the head guy, because if I don't, yeah. somebody else is sort of like, you know, will slip, slip it to me, you know. Or yeah. 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 Now, that's interesting now. Now we go back to where we were, right? I understand you're losing some enthusiasm. Uh, well, I mean, I, it's energy. Energy. Call it energy, energy. losing enthusiasm. Right, right. <clears throat> 
And the example you took was where you're taking his hand, as it were, mm -hmm. and that puts you into this kind of relationship, doesn't it? Right. We asked you about what's it like being in that kind of relationship. In the same way, we could say, being a driver in the company, that's a relationship, and that puts you in a certain state of mind while you're in it and doing it. Well, here we go again. See, if you're a driver, see, people who are driving and managing and getting the work done are totally different than the people who are in sales and marketing. No. Right now, here I am. I'm, I'm doing both sides of the coin, only you know, different Good. places. Good. Um, Good. Oh. So see, I'm cheap. There's no way that I can play the game I play at work with, with these people who are... That's right. It's a totally different game. Because they're different kinds of people. Right. right. It's a different... It's a they different want a trusting relationship. A trust, right? A okay. believing relationship. Right. Is it possible, though, that you may be trying to relate to them and the way in which you're doing it at work? Trying to play the educator as well? At work, you're both sides of the coin, right? That makes sense, right? They're not sheep or lambs, as you said, right? They're active, they're participating. That's a different type of person than the person that you're dealing with in this company that you've started, right? They're, they want a different kind of relationship. They want to be in a trusting, they want to trust you, don't they? Yeah, they want to have more communication with me, uh more, more touchy-feely, yeah. more, um, I'm an okay guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, the reassurance. Reassurance. All right. That's they, all, they also right. want to know that we're doing the right thing. And they want to be reassured. Mm -hmm. Right. Especially in a fluctuating market. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, different, different, different. Oh, oh yeah, I well, it's, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if I could. Well, the people I work with at work, you know, they're they're reassured because they know they're doing the right things. I delegate right. stuff. That's right. right. So they, they do their own. They do it. They there's no the time. And, and there's no right. doubt about reassurance here and what has to be in place to we've gain got, it. We've got metrics. Right. We've got we've got ways of gauging things. Yeah. So. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. But not here. This takes a reassurance game when you're dealing with this work relationship with the, with the company. We're dealing with the unknown sort of. Yeah. See, we've, we've put together a, a portfolio and we've sort of launched it into financial space and it's going to... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's going to sort of orbit around and it's going to kick off this return at some fairly reasonable rate <coughs> of time. <coughs> uh, yeah. and, and, but, you know, you can't really control that. And, like you can here oh, yeah. at the company. We, we know what we're Different. Doing. You know where you're going. Yeah. We know how to get there. Yeah, yeah. So you're in a different psychological, psychic world, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Now, therefore, what is it like having to spend your time reassuring these people? Uh, now, you could say, I look forward to it. Uh, I'm calling them all the time. Or uh, I find I'm not calling them as much as I should. I should I be on the phone call. I should talk to them more. But I I'm not. I'm not. Well, what is it there for when you think about calling them right now and doing this reassurance part? I, uh, oh. Go ahead. It's like what? Try that now. Doing that, or even thinking about it right now, is like what? What's it like? Uh, actually, when I call them up, and we start talking, it's no big deal. No big deal. No, everything's okay. That's right. Yeah. It's only when you're when you have to pick it up, that. pick yeah. it up, pick up the phone. <laughs> yeah. Think about it and picking it up, right? Well, Therefore, what's it like when you think about it before you pick up the phone? Say, what's it like? Um, 
you know, it's it's really not a think about thing. It, okay. No, I'm actually going to sleep. I'm actually, I want to call them, but I get caught up in this other job and my relationship. And it's sort of like all of a sudden, oh my goodness, I didn't do my other work. It's sort of, does that make sense? Oh, yes. We always can do things. Uh, and I haven't called Jim Herbaugh. Now, I should have really been calling him a couple of times. And I haven't done it, so now I'm really feeling guilty, so I'm not going to call him on the phone. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I was, when it comes time to do this, you find you have time to do these other things. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's always true, right? Mm -hmm. So, therefore, going back, as you think about calling this chap up, right? Reaching for the phone. What's it like? Like right now. Here's the phone. If I was going to call him up, I'd say, Hi, how you doing? And I wouldn't say a word. Because... I feel guilty that I haven't called him, so I don't want to start apologizing. Um, I wouldn't say a word. Right. <clears throat> how's going? How, how, I'd say, hi Jim, how you doing? Jim Lundy here, blah, 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 blah. Um, let's see, you, 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 everything's been set up. Your paperwork should have been sent to you. I'm not sure his paperwork's been sent to him, so I should find that out. Um, mm -hmm. So then, uh, as you think about it, actually, um, I wouldn't say a word, right at first, but you know, you're going to have to apologize. No. What did you say? No. Uh, uh, he hasn't called me. He's got my phone number. Oh, yeah. He's not yeah. worried about yeah. me. But you, no, no. You're not worried about him. <laughs> you're worried about you. Oh, okay. Right? As you reach for that phone, uh, right, the reason you're not picking it up, what state of mind are you in? It's not the right time to call. Good, good. Yeah, good, 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 good. I like that. More. It's not the right time. Um, uh, actually, I was supposed to do it today. <laughs> I was supposed to call him today. I was going to call him today, but I didn't. I got wrapped around the axle at work. Now, look here. What do you, what do you say is the name for this kind of uh, behavior in your own life, right? Procrastination. Yeah, it's not the right time. I'm supposed to do it. What's the history of that state of mind in your own home? My Back family. when? Yeah, yeah, in your family. Um. <clears throat> See, now we're after the history of it. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, my father does all kinds of stuff. What? Uh, more than he can handle. No, come on, talk about it. Yeah, he, calls, he called it being a renaissance man. You, know, you, can do, you take all your interests and then you really go out and do them all. So you're, what's it, uh, being able to juggle n balls at once. Mm. That was him? Yeah. And, go ahead. And where did he get this? It's not the right time, does it? When would he say that? <laughs> well, actually, we're going to try and talk to him sometimes. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. So, when you're trying to talk to him, gain a relationship with him, go ahead. Uh, he's, he's busy working on other things. It's not the right time. Right time. Ah, ah. <laughs> And this happens again and again and again. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <clears throat> Curious, isn't it? I mean, it's a curious thing. Do you have a particular scene that you can recall? Uh, yeah, I'm building. Yeah, a, go ahead. I'm building a motor. Oh, good. Go so, ahead. Go ahead. It's, uh, it's a triple armature motor uh, run by batteries. It's supposed to spin. Uh -huh. and I'm winding the armatures mm -hmm. and. Put it in the support, flip the switch, and don't work. Jesus Christ. Uh, so now I take the thing apart, I rewire the thing, mm -hmm. don't work. Now I'm really worried because mm -hmm. I can't get it to work. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I sit up there for how, how long? God, oh, Christ, I gotta go show him that the motor don't work, you know? So I took it apart again, put it back together. And I'm in really bad shape now. So I went down and I, I talked to him and 
said it didn't work. And um, he didn't actually, he didn't have time to fix it at that time, so he didn't work on it, so he, it took a while, and we, he actually took it and rewound it for me, and showed me how to make it work. What do you think of that? Now that you reflect on it, um, how long did you have to wait? I think it was a couple of days. Oh, fine, fine. And you were in bad shape during that time. Well, right? I mean, Where am I? You don't screw up with my you know, my father. I mean, you don't. You know. I mean, I was amazed that he didn't get pissed off. You know, because oh. you know I had all these things I would do, and I never could get them right. right? Mm -hmm. But he would always fix them. <clears throat> oh, you never get them right. That's true. And he, and yeah. he never had time to fix them until later. Ah. Ah. Um, could that possibly uh, be a way of relating with him? Uh, yeah. Yeah, not... Um, needing help? Or well, I guess I'm, I probably went through enough things with him that I realized that after a while, when I talked to him, it would be a little bit later when we worked on stuff. And to be quite frank with you now, I realize now most of my people I work with in this little company I've started, um, yeah, well, look at here, I, you know, most of the times when I'm with my father trying to get these projects to work, they don't work because I, I didn't have the ability to get them to work, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he, he showed me how to make them work. Yeah. So I guess these portfolios I've set up for people, uh, in some sense, my guilt tells me they're broken. Mm -hmm. So are they my father now? Or, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, <laughs> am I, I'm playing the same game with them that I played with my father. Mm. Uh, I will eventually call him up and we'll, and there won't be any problem. I mean, he's, you know, we've, I've trained this guy that he's long term. He doesn't think in terms of weeks. He thinks in terms of months. Mm -hmm. And here I, you know, I, it fits right into my, uh, you know, um, work on it, get it all set up. Doesn't work. Actually, the stuff does work. Mm -hmm. But it's not it's not one hundred percent guaranteed that it works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in a sense I gotta go talk to this guy again and we gotta work it out again. Which is I'm playing the same game. Yeah. Yeah. I'm playing the same game with that. Yeah, right, right, right. Curious, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And it's it's really great because I've got a situation <coughs> here where there's no way in B Jeebus or whatever that I can that I can guarantee that this thing is gonna work. And and that's right. And I was, you know. Yeah. Go ahead. That's like. So it'll be just like working with my father. I know yeah. I can't do it. I'm going to yeah. try, but I can't do it. So. And not only that, the project you're working on, there's no certainty that the future will be calculable, that's predictable. Right. That's right. So I'm I'm hooked. Yeah. I'm, I mean, this this, yeah. this plays right into it. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have to, though. <clears throat> That's true. That's right. Because you do, you do. Uh, it appears you are making a connection here that uh, you are both intelligent enough to see that it's through work and projects that you two relate. It's through work. And oh, my father. Did yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the vehicle oh, through yeah. which you relate. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all my clients are men. <laughs> mm -hmm. so. Well, actually, except for one woman. One woman. Yeah. No. 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 But I did the same thing to her. Uh huh. Played the same thing to her. So. No. No. It's not gender specific. No. 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 So now what I need to do is just make sure that as soon as I set things up, that I immediately get in contact with. Pearson almost as soon as things are set up and just well I'm going to lose so the, what, what is the point what is it you had to accept to have this relationship with your father what is it you had to accept um, well that I couldn't do it one two, two he, would, he would fix it three everything's okay no Three. Three. Uh, I can't reach it right. It's not the right time. It's, oh, that's right. It's not the right time. That's 
right. Therefore, you would continuously have to wait. Be on hold. Be on hold till you have time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, uh, but it couldn't be that you're getting your clients to be on hold, could it? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a the, here's the little extra thing here. My father had these projects he would work on, and they were like life projects. See, they didn't exactly get that either. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, yeah. mm -hmm. So, would you be willing to say, though, that uh, um, just think about this. When did he finally have time? Can you just remember one scene? Because I have a question about it. And I'd rather you first tell me before I ask my question. <clears throat> With this aperture. Oh, yeah, I got, I, got, I got a scene, yeah. I'm sort of, uh, yeah, I had this model. He gave me this model. Mm -hmm. It was a model of a, a medieval knight. He had a staff, mm -hmm. a horse, and all this stuff. I had this little tiny brush with all these paints, and I was supposed to paint all these uh, little fine striations and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I painted them. Mm -hmm. But uh, not being able to paint them right, I got them smudged. Mm -hmm. okay. And your involvement with your father? Well, I knew I'd have to go to him to, to show him I'd screwed it up. <laughs> and what did he do? He didn't have time to do <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> He didn't have time to work on that one. He was working on something else. Mm. That's why it was interesting in the time when he did have time. Go ahead. When he, <coughs> he worked at it, and, um, like the example with the uh, the uh, the wind in the armature. When he finally did it, do you remember that time? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was he doing just before he did it? Because he did. Tell <coughs> he did delay it. He had to postpone it. Uh, actually, he was working on some things that were similar. He was working on something and stopped. Had stopped to do it. Well, this model was part of his project. So he was working on this project. So naturally, he had time to do the model. He was sitting at the table right then. It was natural for him at that time to take the time because he was doing something similar or the same, right. same project. Right. <clears throat> All right. See, I want to see when he finally takes the time to help you. I've got one scene now. It looks like he has time when it fits what he's already doing. Oh, absolutely. Do you have another one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Same question. Uh, yeah, the uh, lawnmower. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, not working right. Oh, good. How so did you? So told me to fix it. Oh, yeah, good, good. So I uh, took the motor apart and, and um, put it back together. <laughs> and it didn't work. It worked worse. <laughs> right, right, right. Go ahead. Uh, so um, I told him at dinner that the uh, lawnmower, you know, I was having problems with the lawnmower. And he asked me what I did, and I told him a few things. And he said, uh, well, I ain't got time right now, but try this. Good. So I went out and tried something, and uh, it didn't work. Good, good, good. So I like I, this story. <laughs> 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 so the next night, I told him again, and he says, well, gee, he says, I haven't got time to work on that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I do remember now, he did come out, and we did some yard stuff. And that's when he did it. That's when he put the, uh, fixed the motor. Can you tell me in, from these two scenes whether you have a theory about when he finds time to do things with you? He, he, he finds time when it's the right time. And the right time for him is when? His time. When he's already doing something similar yeah. to it? Oh, yeah. oh, oh. I'm not sure what that means. What does that mean? Well, let me give another, take the same case. Suppose you find out that when he says, I don't have the time right now, the next time you see that he's totally involved in something totally different, you come up to him, he puts his stuff aside and works on yours. Oh, no. Right? <laughs> we would come to a certain... Oh, no, that doesn't, that doesn't happen. We would come to a certain conclusion, wouldn't we? Uh, yes, yes. And your importance. Yes. And the way I'm relating with you. And under what conditions? Well, well you got to realize, I, I was a cog in the family. 
I, 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 I sit up, I stand up, I speak up, and I sit down. Yeah. That's, that's, that was my, that was the thing that I grew up uh, uh, Go ahead, and that means? You do what you're told. Ah. ah. Which is to fit into what he's doing. Yeah. Well, I just wondered. He's, he's the leader. leader. He's the, he's, well, he was my father. He was, of course. Until I was like 16, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So then, it looks like we have a way of spotting when it's likely he'll do these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. By the way, when is it likely that you'll call this person, people like this? When I get done. What will that mean? Well, I'm not fighting with my girlfriend. I'm not involved in wrap around the axle work. When I devote my time to my business. Oh, then when you're doing your business, you'll do this. Yes. But you won't. Uh, is that similar, by the way? Oh, absolutely. Oh, <laughs> 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 then it looks like we have another uh, function. Shepherd, educator, and parent. Parent? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A certain, certain kind of parent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of interesting. Hmm. See, it's always important then. Uh, well, you know, I'm really glad you got me through this because I, I realize I'm not supposed to be doing this. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, I'm in a business, and I should be definitely taking time for these people, even though the guy's not asking me to, to, to call him on the phone. I should be calling him on the phone and making sure that he, everything's okay. Yeah. And, you know, my father never did that. He, he always give me some task, oh. and I'm going to be wrapped around Like when you gave the guy the books to read. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Isn't that true? Yeah. yeah. Get back to me later. Let me know what you. What yeah. You're doing. Right. 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 right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's curious, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And in my business to go to the next level, I'll, I'll be working with more people. And uh, yeah, unless you solve this, this problem, no, this can't play. I know they can't, can't play this game. No. Right, no. not with, if you go to five to a hundred. Right, so you see why it's absolutely important. And it's costing you, draining energy from this. Right. Yeah, that's energy draining. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, there's another thing, too. Mm -hmm. My father was a very busy person. He was involved in a lot of different things. And what he was doing was he'd do this thing, and he'd shift gears. He'd go do that thing, and he'd shift gears. You know, and I'm doing the same, same thing. You know, I'd go to work, i you know, get in that mode. You know, and then i go work my business, mm -hmm. get in that mode, and then I'm late with my girlfriend. You know, shift gears. You know, shift gears for her, you know. So, you know, I'm running her as a business, too. <laughs> and I, I think about it, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, do you know what you should do? Now, this is when I'm, I can give advice. That's my major role. Oh, you don't keep on giving advice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This no. is the big advice, sorry. Big, yeah, yeah, this is the part that is that I have to wait until I build up a certain degree of trust with them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you a pretty good job. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. You just take a look at what's going on. That's all. You want to see the effect our discussion has on these three different worlds. So that you can simply see it more more precisely. So just, just watch it then. Just watch just the watch suffer. It. Which you'll be doing anyhow. Oh, I definitely. And therefore, my advice is very good since I know you're already doing it, but you're going to be doing it in a different way. Because you're going to do it in view of this. Right? You're going to do it in view of this. Right, right. Right. How about some questions on this? Um, I wanted to ask you what, have you known this guy that you're uh, uh, shepherding 
for very long, the gentleman that you're... Yeah, first calling. names only, just for... Yeah, I don't... The Jim Herbaugh, yes, he, he, he knows me for about a couple of years. Okay, good. Do you consider him a friend, or what, how do you consider... I mean, what are your feelings towards him? Uh, is it strictly business, or do you have personal... Uh, it's strictly business. Uh, either you know, I'm working for him now, and I also he worked at the same company I worked at, so I had, mm -hmm. I had a little bit of reputation at the company. I've worked with some other people there. And, mm -hmm. You know, he he'd heard a few things, and then that's you know he was getting ready to retire. Mm -hmm. Actually, to tell you the truth, I was talking with two other guys in that group because they were getting ready to retire, and they sort of went off and did some other things, whereas he just popped out of nowhere and said, "Well, talk to me," you know, so. So mm -hmm. He wasn't the guy I thought I'd be working for. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, I'm not clear. This is the guy that you're you're going to be selling stuff to? Uh, no, I already work for him. You so you so you work for this guy? Yes, he's uh, mm -hmm. he has uh, he had a 401k and a lump sum distribution from the company. He's taken a lump sum, which was about a half a million bucks, and we've got to put it into a diversified uh, portfolio. Mm -hmm. It's going to has a little bit of. It has growth, value, um, large and small cap, and U.S. and international. It's pretty well diversified. His eggs are all in these different baskets. Mm -hmm. And actually, it worked out pretty good because uh, the fellow before had a similar portfolio. And during the uh, downturn we had the last couple months, most things were down like 23%. His portfolio was down something like, oh, 15. So there was an attenuation factor there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the point you were moving just, forward um, to? I was, well, a couple of things. One was I was curious how, how you felt about his willingness to, to trust you without really doing the homework that you felt he should do on his own. And um, that, that was one point. And um, let's see what point I can't remember. Well, I was feeling a little bit guilty. I, I, I grew up in the South, mm -hmm. and people in the South, they can tell stories, mm -hmm. and people just believe them. Sure. And uh, I do have some of that capability. Mm -hmm. you know, I can be very uh, very assuring about mm -hmm. certain things, which I might not be sure of myself, and people mm -hmm. will believe me. Sure. So do you think there's something that you, else that you should be telling him, or do you think there's things that you're not telling him? Uh, do you think you're being direct with him? Uh, well, here's the thing. I could go into more of the, uh, you know, risk aspects and give them a really, like, you know, thorough grounding in risks. But if I do that, I might scare him out of the sale. <laughs> and he hasn't really, he hasn't really shown me that he's willing to read these books. I've had other guys take the book and read it and, like, you know, underline everything and ask me 10,000 questions, which that's another story. You know, those guys, sometimes they ask too much. Uh, sure. This guy didn't ask enough. Sure. So, you know, again, my... You know, bottom line is to actually get assets under management, mm -hmm. which I feel is, actually I do feel this is a really, these guys have got a really good uh, perception and a, and a methodology they use to control risk. As uh, much as it can be. As, as much right. as it can be, but again, you know, I'm, I'm saying, oh, gee, I can't do 100%. <laughs> and beat okay. myself up on it. Well, see, whether you, see whether you can push the implications of that, okay? One more step. It's always implications to say a mistake. Um, <clears throat> okay. Please. What's the last thing that was said? <clears throat> Some of the people underline the book, and they even ask more questions. And he laughed at that moment, right? Mm -hmm. And we both understood what was going on, mm -hmm. which is he was really being a good educator in that sense. Okay. And he may be asking more questions than perhaps in terms of the particular financial goal and the position that he's in. Mm -hmm. He may educate him with it to move him from an F to an A and therefore move out of the... Move at the cost of the... Move out and go for some other plan with some other person. That's a problem with sales. You, you can yeah. actually educate yourself out of, out of Out of the business. Yeah. 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 And somebody might come along with, with just a big smile and knows nothing. Yeah. <laughs> And hit an emotional cord, and <laughs> he's got a presence. Right. Yeah, okay. So it's <coughs> good, good, good. 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 Okay. Any questions for probing this further? Good, good, good. 
Good. Fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Exploration. And it would be real good now to watch dreams. Given this dynamic, now, say, now watch for dreams. One question, it would strike me in this picture that something that seems rather significant that I could relate to is perhaps there's something very powerful about the idea that you relate to a father when you do have a problem, and that's the closest time, that's the times when you're the most intimate with your father ever. That's right. And you carry that on into your life. That's right. If, if things are peaceful, I'm not okay. If things are calm. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. The guy, the guy hadn't called me. Well, he called me once, and I just left him a voicemail. But he hadn't called back since then. Yeah. Um, everything's fine. Yeah. <laughs> he may wonder why you're trying to reassure him. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> right. It may not fit where he's at. I do have to meet with him every three months. Oh, well, that's different. So I could yeah. procrastinate this yeah. for two more months. Yeah. But I don't want to do that. <laughs> but you're quite right. You see that it would be it would be interesting for you to have a talk with your father if it were possible right? but in principle to say dad you know what i've learned from these great moments when we were building together it became the basis of a model that i'm using in a variety of ways it may even <coughs> become a model for love affection recognition knowledge may become the dominant model in my thinking. He'd be surprised at that. He'd say, I thought I was just rewinding the armature. Because we don't see the value of it. Oh. The peaceful, quiet scenes, right? They aren't the basis for our models. These are. Yeah, right. I just... For me, I, I, the revelation that I got was really perhaps the greatest intimacy I ever had with both my mother and father were the times when I pushed the void and sort of fell apart, and they were forced to actually confront something that was true about my inner world, but it had to usually be something rather dramatic That's right. to get that happen. That's right. And how much deep in my psyche I loved that they were caring about something that That's I right. felt for that moment, even though it was shameful or something. We have to discover that we're significant, that someone cares, that there's some sign of affection and recognition, self-worth, all of the greatest things in the universe. It's so painful to believe the opposite. Yeah, so we look around for things that will reassure us of those things, and that becomes the model. Yeah. yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you.